Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rato. I have done MD in Physics Medicine. Today we will discuss about post-mortem interval. That is the estimation of time since death means how much time has passed from the death of the body. So post-mortem interval is the time that has elapsed since the person has died. That is, it is a time interval between the death and examination of the body. Determination of time of death is important in both criminal and civil cases. In civil cases, time of death might determine who inherits the property or whether an insurance policy was when whether the insurance whether was insurance policy was in force at the time of death or not. Estimation of time is that is a part of medical legal inferences drawn from the postnatal examination of the dead bodies. So it can directly or indirectly help to find out the time of assault, which helps the investigating officer to locate an accused and to verify any alibi of the accused. The various methods include such as physical, chemical, biochemical, histological, enzymatic changes which occur in the progression of the dead bodies. So there are many methods by which time cells can, can, can be estimated. The range of time provided is best an educated guess. It is always a guess and based on knowledge and experience it may change and it has many errors. Many methods which are used include changes in the eyes, other motives, personal changing, these are all mainly changes in the bodies, uh, dead body which occurs after death. This may be early changes, late, immediate, early and late changes. Some of the methods like biochemical methods, circumvention methods does not include change but the evidence for, uh, present in the body. Now comment one by one, changes in the eye. When the dead body is still warm, not rigid, without any permanent haziness in cornea, the death of the, death of the person is possibly occurred within one hour in summer and within two hours in winter. If there is no hesitation in cornea, it indicates that body is dead within one hour. Cooling of the body, also known as algor mortis, if the external surface is of similar to that of environment, which occurs mainly up to 12 to 15 hours. Internal visula, which can be temperature, which can be assessed by the rectal temperature, rectal thermometer, it reaches uh, with ambient temperature to 20, 8 to 24 hours. Rate of cooling is usually 0.5 to 0.7 degrees centigrade, centigrade per hour rate of decrease occurs till it reaches to ambient temperature, room temperature. So always the, root, uh, the body temperature reaches and becomes equal to room temperature after which that temperature does not decrease. Postnatal lividity that is the, uh, the blood accumulation in the back of the body, it appears starts at 1 hour, it establishes at 3 to 6 hours and it fixed up to 6 hours. So if the body is not moved, it if and there is completely fixed personality, it means the body is about more than 10 6 hours of after death. Rigor mortis is stiffening of muscles, usually starts appearing in 2 to 3 hours in the small muscles of the eyes, takes about 12 hours to completely rigidify all the body, which can be tested by flexing and extending of the fingers, remains for 12 hours and passes after 12 hours. So you can just remember as 12, 12, 12, 12. 12 hours to completely uh, that is rigid, 12 hours it remains and after 12 hours it passes off. So if the body is rigid, it in, full body is rigid, it indicates the body, the time since death is more than 12 to 24 hours. So it takes 12 to 24, 24 hours to completely rigidify and remains for 24, 24 hours to completely rigid. After 24 hours, it starly, uh, starts to, uh, rigor much starts to pass off and there is first appearance of poor, poor petrifaction change. Based on the temperature, the agar mortis may change. In summer, it starts by 1 hour established in 12 hours and passes off by 18 to 26 hours. In, the, in, in winter, it starts into 2 to 3 hours, it, it is delayed, remains for 12 to 18 hours and it passes by 24 to 48 hours. Think position that is petrifaction starts 2 to 3 hours, manifest that is the first it manifests in 24 to 24 hours and established in 2 to 3 hours. In for less than one day in putrefaction, the screenless discoloration occurs in the right iliac fossa, which is seen as is the first sign of putrefaction. In one to two, uh, two days, putrefaction changes include greenish discoloration of the whole body, marbling that is uh, the coloring of the veins, then false smell appears, burning of the body parts appears, there is disturbed formation occurs, Skin starts slipping, slipping off, then pressure effects of the gases that is burning of the body starts to appear. In two to three days, whole body is blotted, discolored. 
there is false smell, maggot starts appearing, that is larvae of the fly starts to appear. Cuticles can peel off, hairs can peel off, sometimes the rectum or uterus may prolapse. If the woman is pregnant, it, the postpartum delivery may occur. Wounds which are, if the body has some wounds like incised wound or abrasion, laceration wounds, there is postpartum bleeding may occur one more time because of the pressure changes of the gases. There is shifting of postpartum lividity because of the effects of gases. Hearts become empty. There is, then there is froth and gastric contents may come in the mouth, nose, and mouth. In three to five days of petrifaction, teeth become loose, nails become loose and fall off. Sutures of the skulls to get separated and bear gets starting liquefaction. Then liquefaction of the internal visera. First it starts with the brain, then later on the liquefaction of the lungs starts appears. Late stage of decomposition includes body cavities becomes burst open. There is quality decomposition. Skate analysis takes up to one to three months, and bone decomposes by one to many years. Many years it can take for bone to completely decompose. Some modified form of putrefaction, the adipose seed formation, takes up to three to twenty-five days. In some environmental conditions, body may get modified, modification may occur, which may take up to three to twenty-four hours. Once it emerges, that is based on the presence of insects. Also, postnatal entry can be determined. Species like Musca domestica, Musca vicina, lay eggs in the body near the neck, axilla, inguinal regions, which which hatches within one to two days, becomes larvae, that is no maggots. After four to five days, this becomes pupae, and three to five days, pupae becomes adult flies. So in total, it takes about ten to twelve days for complete cycle of the insects. So based on the stage of the larvae, that is maggots, we can roughly estimate the time since there. Changes in the bones. If the bones, if the body is keratinized and the soft tissues are present, that is uh, cartilage are present on the skin. It take a skin that is bone surface cartilage is present. It indicates after it is one to three months old. If bone marrow is moist inside the bone, it takes up to two three months. If bone marrow is dried up from the long bones, it, it is more than six months. And bone decomposes in many years. It completely decomposes in many years. Based on the gastric gastric contents, it's only helpful only if time if time of consumption is known. If the person's time of consumption it means in the sense that if you know that when the person has last meal, like if he has went to the hostel, if you know when he has meal, then we can know. Since extent of digestion takes one to two hours and gastric empty only takes two hours. Sometimes it may delay in head injury or cause anxiety or sleep. Contents in the large intestine, if it's present, indicates that the person may have died in the evening or night. Biochemical changes seen in the fluids. So biochemical changes are usually seen in the body fluids, like sales of blood and uh, the other blood fluids. In sales of there is increase in non-protein nitrogens, increase in amino acids, lactic acids, potassium, ammonia, and there are decreasing glucose and chlorides in a steady rate. So they are decreasing the fixed rate. In blood, there is an increase in non-protein nitrogens, lactic acids, enzymes, but decreasing glucose, potassium, ammonium, sodium, and chloride. In vitro humor, Increase there is an increase in potassium. This is helpful. It is mainly helpful for time since death since it can be a very reliable method for estimation time since death. That is increase in potassium. Then there is an increase in ascorbic acid, lactic acid, but decrease in sodium and glucose in the vitreous humor in ice. Now, those are the physical and biochemical changes. Circumstantial evidence means evidence which are not so accurate but which will be helpful for estimating time since death. One is the evidence of eyewitness means one person who has seen at the time of death or a person who has seen that person at the time before death can help pull in whether whether he was alive or not clothes mainly if the person is having some uniforms and he goes to some work we can tell whether the person was working if he has using the wearing those uniform and if he had death then in case the time hours which he works will give the life instrument of time to death Pocket contents, a diary or suicide note if it's found which is very helpful. Letters, bills of purchases, then newspapers are helpful roughly whether he has paid the bills or not gives the rough idea of time since death. Lice in hairs dies after six hours of the person's diet. Food laying in the tables or in the kitchens, whether they have spoiled food is present, that indicates the again circumstantially gives the evidence of 
how much time the person has died. These are my references. Thank you.